Hello everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. This time on Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies we are going to do some puzzlings. Some puzzles. We've got Vase Breaker and we've got Eye Zombie. I think maybe we should go for Eye Zombie first because we just did Vase Breaker. Not very long ago. We'll do it. But we'll do Eye Zombie first. So, in Eye Zombie, you are the... Oh, here we go. He, he will explain it probably better than I can, which is pretty sad. The zombies asked me to help them practice invading houses. I told them it'd be okay, as long as no plants were harmed. So, I put a bunch of cardboard cutouts on your lawn. Have fun. <clears throat> Alright, so we choose. We have to be strategic about this. We have to look at what we've got. Um, for example... The Buckethead zombie might be able to make it through this entire line and get to the brain and eat it. Um, this zombie, on the other hand, would not make it through that. He's kind of a pawn. You want to sacrifice him. And as you eat the sunflowers, you gain sun. So, probably the best thing to do at the moment would be that. He will um, make some sun and sacrifice himself. And we'll do another one. There we go. We'll get the rest of the sun and we'll wake him up. And then we can send another zombie on in right now, actually. There we go. Done. He's going to eat the sunflower and get to the brain. So we're all set up there. Now, what else can we do? Um, I'm probably going to need a football player zombie or, like, two bucket heads for this bottom row. Oh, that's, that's, that's such a mess down there. Okay, yeah, he's got the brain. We're good to go there. Do we get money when he eats the brain? Let's just wait a minute and find out. Yes, we do. Nice. Okay. All right, so that row is taken care of. We need to clear out the other four now. Let's try... I think Buckethead Zombie would be a good way to go. Let's try that, yeah. See how it does. I think, I think, I think we're okay. I mean, he can withstand quite a few of those single shots of pee. <laughs> pee. Look at all the sun we got. Oh, yeah. Let's um, put you there. We'll get rid of the squish. Or the squash or the squish. Okay, we got some more sun. And, uh, yeah, we'll do a bucket head there. He should be able to make it all the way to the end. Thank you. Um, what's next? Let's try the football player for down here. He can take a lot of damage, even when he's going slow like that, so... Come on. There we go, more sun. Uh, and lastly, I think we can probably do a bucket head to get through that. But regardless, even if we screw this up, I think we're fine. We have a lot of sun at this point. He made it, no problem. Looks like the football player's okay. And the bucket head looks like he'll make it too. Alright, I'd say we got this. I'd say we are done. You can do it, Buckethead Zombie. This is the only time I'll ever be rooting for you. Unless I were to play this again. Which I very well could, because there are various other um, modes of this with other kinds of zombie and such. But we got this one. We are done. Look at that. We get the trophy. We get another thousand. Oh, we can buy that thing. I can't remember what the thing was. It was the cattails. That's what it was. Uh, you've unlocked a new eye zombie level. Yay! Eye zombie two. Should we do an eye zombie two or should we move on to base breaker? Let's uh, let's yeah 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 let's uh let's do another one. All right, eat all the brains. We've got screen door zombie. He would be good for anything that doesn't have spike weed laid down. Um. Inversely, let's see. Let's tr oh man, this is a mess. This this is a mess. Let's uh Oh god, I don't know what I wanna do. Let's try it. We'll see how that works. And then let's also do Oh wow, he he didn't make it far at all. That was god awful. We may be restarting this. <laughs> there we go. We'll work on that. See how it does. I think I I, th I think he's doing pretty good. I think he'll actually make it through that whole row. Yes. 
You magnificent bastard, look at you go! Oh, yeah, we're golden. Cool. Okay. So, uh, I think we're gonna need you. Get this son. He's going to eat the brain. Get me some money. I think that row's probably in pretty good shape. Just get off that spike weed ASAP there, buddy. There you go. We'll take care of that. He should be able to make it across there and eat the brain without dying. So, I think we're good. Um, next row. Ooh. Well, his screen door will not take damage while he's standing on this. Only he will. Is that good enough to make it through? Or should I just say screw it and use the bucket head? I'm not sure. Let's definitely use you here. That seems like a good idea. It's going to get us some sun immediately, too. So he's he's already paid for himself, really. Um, next, I think we'll just do bucket head and bucket head. And I think that's probably fine. I think we've got this thing beat now. As long as nothing strangely unforeseen happens. Oh, yeah, I didn't realize that. The, um... They are immune to the snow peas effect of slowdown. They are immune to that with the uh, with that screen door there. I, I hadn't considered that before. These guys, on the other hand, are not. They are moving very slow. Oh, he's screwed. He is so screwed. Oh, you both are. I yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's disappointing. Um regular zombie will not make it. Let's just do Let's just do bucket heads again, I guess. Yeah. I think so. We can afford it, so we might as well. Maybe we should have done a screen door zombie down here, actually. He'll do fine. It's him I'm concerned about. He's he's taking good damage while he's standing on that spike weed. But, on the plus side, playing the other side like this helps you learn your enemy better. So if you can master this, that is that is very beneficial. Also, I need to drink some water while we wait. There you go. Nice, nice, nice. Let me grab that. Okay. And just, just, just eat the damn thing. Ah. Come on, guy. There it is. Oh. So slow. There he goes. He, he thawed out. Mm-hmm. Okay. We get another 1,000. Not a bad way to make some, some extra scratch. <laughs> okay. So, we'll go back there, and that, of course, unlocks. Can you dig it? Let's go hit up Base Breaker, though. I love Base Breaker. I really do. Ah, this here is Base Breaker. Some of these levels are really difficult. Good luck. Yeah, we've got, uh, we've got five columns of bases this time. Ooh, nice. What's this? Nice. What's this? Oh! Shit. Holy shit. Ugh, there we go. We got some insurance. Alright, he's good. What's in here? Another squish. Okay. Oh. Another one. Put that there. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. He's taken care of. Get that going in this one. Another pea shooter. Ooh. I probably should have put that in one of the two spots that didn't have a squash, actually. Whoa, I didn't mean to hit that. Alright, yeah, you can go there. Nice, okay. Let's hit that. There we go. Take him out. Gotcha. Sayonara! Hmm... I don't like... Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that either. Oh. Okay. We'll have to hope for the best there. Come on, Buckethead. I don't... God, we, we might be screwed. That sucks having a Buckethead that close. Come on, take him out quicker. Oh. 
how I wish that squash was down where he is. Come on! Oh no! I think we're in trouble. I think we're really, really in trouble. Yeah, I think we're going to have to restart. Oh, it was going so well. It just wasn't in the cards. Yeah, I know. It wasn't in the cards. Okay, let's try that again. Put that there. Put you there. Okay, we know that that's a good thing. We'll put it there. We know that this is a good thing. We'll put it here. Okay, he's far enough back that he shouldn't be too much trouble. And we'll put that there. Yes. Oh, shit. Oh, all zombies! That doesn't happen too often. Oh, Christ almighty. Uh, okay, he's good. Let's, let's do that. What's this? Uh, put it there. Yeah, we need more firepower here. Oh, here we go, here we go. Squash. Another one of those. Uh, right there. Nice. Whoever comes out of there, okay. I was gonna say, he's gonna be real sorry. Didn't matter. Hey, we did it. That went well. The thing that I like about these puzzles, the, um, the vase breakers, is that they, they get over with very quickly, as long as, as long as everything's going smoothly. Oh, he's facing the wrong damn way. Oh, that sucks. There's probably a digger zombie somewhere, but where? We don't know. Actually, I should have put him over here. That would have been more efficient. Let's try that. A little rusty. You, you'll, you'll have to forgive me. Alright. Okay. Nice. There we go. Oh, hello. Oh. Alright. Slow you down, too. How's that? Okay. There we go. We got a walnut. Yeah, yeah, let's put that there. Another one there. You can go there. Okay, he's going to hit the potato mine. I'm not too worried about that. He'll be taken care of. Um. Yeah, we don't have any real defense there, so. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, okay, okay. Uh, man, I don't, I don't know. We've got the spud mine right there. Okay. Oh, bucket head. Oh, he'll be, he'll be okay. Yeah, we can take care of him, especially now. He's done. Oh, nice. Okay. Potato mine spawned just in time. And he's got six peas per turn hitting him, so he's he's dead. Let's move on! Vase breaker. A lot of fun! I really like the vase breakers. Um, hmm. Can you dig it? Third vase. Uh, ooh, let's do another vase breaker. All right. <clears throat> oh, we've got six rows this, or six columns this time. Okay. Oh shit. Oh hey, that that went pretty well actually. Let's do that and that, and you can go there and you can go right here. Yeah, cool. Okay. Uh, let's. All right. Well. I was I was hoping for a weapon to put on, on this row. Oh man. Oh man. Uh, I have I have nowhere to put that really. Nowhere useful anyway. There, just take it. Done with you. Seriously? What am I supposed to do with this? Okay, there we go. That's what we'll do with that. And we... Oh, wow. Yeah, we really... There we go. We need some weapons. Some weapons. Okay. Alright. Oh. Oh, jeez. There we go. We 
looking good. Put that there. Actually, I should have put him up here, but that's... Yeah, it's all relative. Oh, please, by all means, eat. Eat the Hypno Shroom. Eat it. Okay, I'm going to keep you there for now. Oh, crap. Oh, nice! He didn't get to spawn anything. Okay, and we've got him left. I think I, th I think he should be fine. Sweet! Done! That was a pretty easy one, too. We got lucky. Some some of it is luck. That's that's all there is to it. And that, that thing's locked. Okay. So probably all we can do now is can you dig it? And then that's all we can do for puzzles at the moment. Eat all the brains to pass the level. And we get digging zombie. Who would be very efficient anywhere except here. Uh, so what's in here? We've got one for... Oh, probably probably the Buckethead zombie should be okay there. I don't know. We might actually have to use two Buckethead zombies to get through that. What else do we have? I'm going to need to use a regular zombie just to detonate the spud mine. Actually, yeah, two, two of those guys will get the job done. Nice. We can't do much else until he eats all the sun, but... But, um... Once he does, oh man, oh man, we are set. Okay, I'm going to use the digger zombie on uh, this one because there's no sun on that one. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Nice. Well, actually, it doesn't matter if there's sun or not because he eats his way backwards. I forgot about that. I was thinking he would dig all the way over here and just eat the brain and be done, but no. No, that's not how that works. Um, that being said, I can always stick a regular zombie in here and he'll just go right on through. So, where else is he helpful? He would be helpful here. And, oh! Oh, no. Okay, go again then. <clears throat> this time it'll work great. This time he'll get me lots of sun. I think I can probably plant you right there. They don't eat each other or anything. No. Okay, good. It's not as though he's hypnotized or anything like that. Okay. You two are done. I need a regular zombie planted here in a moment. What's this all about? I think we can do a bucket head, probably. Probably? Uh, maybe. Let's just do it. it uh, it's fine, even if he fails. He'll get a lot of sun, anyway. Alright, so... We need you right here. I'm trying to kind of multitask. Normally I wouldn't. I just do one at a time, one row at a time. But, I'm sure this is boring enough as it is. So, what's next? We will need... Ooh. Got that going on. Maybe a bucket head would be better. Just do like two bucket heads. I don't think one bucket head can make it all the way through, but well, maybe, maybe we'll we'll find out in a minute. Come on, buddy, hang in there. Oh God, his his bucket's already dented. It's not a good sign. Come on, go go go. Oh, it burns so good. Not anymore. Oh, I think we're all right. I think he will finish that thing off. Yeah, definitely. Nice. Well, take your sweet time. There we go. We got our bejeweled gem. And we're done. Nice. Okay. Back to the main menu. And we'll say next time on Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies Adventure Level 4-9. See you then. Luke out.